Well, I always say I only wake up for one thing. It's Pleased to report that things just got a little better. All right, I've arrived where I'm going today. I'm across the street from the Sierra Northern. I think that's what they're called now. Yard in Oakdale, California, waiting for Goofy Gary and Stevie Hunter. Okay, so here's the other chasing tr train chasers. We have uh, Stevie Hunter and Goofy Gary. Yeah. Once again, Goofy Gary's back in yeah. action. Yeah. What you got there, Gary? Well, I, I wrote down the times between the different places where we're going to take take pictures. Oh, yeah, that'll be good. <laughs> yeah. So um, we know how much time we have and we don't have to bust our balls sometimes, and sometimes we do. Busting balls is never good. No. Well, you know, you, you haven't seen me when I'm jamming down Warnerville Road yet. Like between the airport and Pump Hall Cell, we only have eight minutes, and it's about a 10 minute drive. <laughs> oh, oh, I, hey, I did it though. I know you did it. I, I can make that. I know. You know, so. That's why you're driving today. Exactly. <laughs> You're, you're about ready. You're about ready to experience the Hunter Lowe's train chasing extraordinaire. So <laughs> we haven't had Hunter as a driver before. Yeah. Well, I haven't. I yeah. Have. Yeah. What, what were Trust your impressions? Me, you're gonna have a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Should I have brought a helmet? A helmet and an extra seat belt. <laughs> <laughs> Ran to our first shot. It's down here at the end of uh, Sierra Road. Here, the main, um, the line is gonna curve off and uh, start heading into the foothills and so that's where we're going to go for our first shot and uh should be pretty good yep. unfortunately we have a gen set pulling the train instead of uh something that'll make some noise and some smoke but should still be a good day um any day on the sierra is a good day it's always one of my favorite operations to shoot so yeah one thing i'm noticing is that the sun looks like it's going to be good up here so oh well the sierra is good um, a good railroad to shoot and this is why the movie studios liked it because when they leave east out of Oakdale it's in the morning and the sun rises in the east so they're going into the sun and then same coming back west they're into the sun so it's a really good photographic situation not to mention you have varying scenery between rolling prairies you know flat farmland the mountains of the Sierra foothills so it's all lots of varying scenery in one area about 50 miles so that's why a lot of people love going to the Sierra especially the movie Hollywood people that's why they loved it so much.
the Sierra is 10 with short section to 20, and so that clips about fastest hill move all day. But it was a good shot, good shot. I was happy with it, definitely. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah? It was perfect. Fantastic and perfect. These are good adjectives. Yeah. The next shot's going to be even better. He said the next shot's even better. I guess we'll find out. Chasing trains! <laughs> this is airport. Oh, we're going to have to hurry up then, huh? Yeah. We got to get our butts out there as fast as possible because we saw the train coming. Whoa, okay. I took that one pretty fast. There's a reason why it says 20 miles an hour, Hunter. Yeah, oh well, whatever. We're gonna call you Mario Andretti, jeez. Mario Andretti, okay, fine. What are you guys doing, man? Chasing trains. Yeah. On the Sierra. One of the greatest railroads on earth. So and we're waiting, what do, you, what do you guys call this spot? Um, well, this really isn't any spot this, with any particular name. This, this is, is private crossing between, number two? Yeah, between Paul Cell and Warnerville. Yeah, we're between Paul Cell and Warnerville right now, uh, along Warnerville Road. This ah, mm -hmm. and that's the, the train chase vehicle yes, right there. Yes, the mucus mobile. I noticed your camera has a, must, has a mustache on it. What a night! What a great idea! What, how'd you get that idea? Well, actually, it's more of an afro than a mustache, I would say. And um, anyway, um, I got the idea from uh, this guy. His name, I think, is I think his name's John or something, and he lives like I think like in San Jose or somewhere. Oh, I know that guy. Any, anyway, you know, he said he was gonna make my camera function better, and at first I thought he defaced it, but overall, it's functionality is pretty well so I guess I'll give John the benefit of the doubt as far as that goes. This camera has some mustache action too. Yeah. Oh look. Look at that. Chasing trains.
going along now Cooperstown Road. It has now become Cooperstown Road. And uh, we're going to be hooking up with Highway 49 here soon. And we'll be heading over to Keystone where we'll pick up uh, uh, 120. And, uh, or 108 rather. And uh, chase from there to Jamestown and up to, uh, up to uh, Sonora. I'm having a blast. This is good. Chasing trains. I'm just holding on for dear life. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, you just had to say that. Okay. I mean, Hunter on dirt roads, you, know, you got to hand it to him. He can really fly. The problem is, I don't have a parachute. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hit the eject button. Oh, no. we just went over one there. Yeah. Uh -huh. I love going fast on dirt roads. I think he's having a little too much fun. Check out that cloud back there. Oh, yeah. So we're headed for a place called... Oh, that was weird. <laughs> that was really weird. All right, that was a truck, guys. <laughs> anyway. We're, we're heading for a place called Keystone now. That's our next shot. And the guys tell me that we'll have plenty of time to set up there, so. And we're off the dirt road now. Yeah, we're on a regular road now. So it's yeah. a lot smoother and not so dusty. Yeah. So we're at a place called Chinese or Chinese Camp. I think it was originally Chinese Camp waiting for the train here. This is one of the major stops on the Sierra from years and years ago. And should be through here very, very soon.
we got it. as fast as the person in front of you. Yeah, well that's pretty much it right now. Hunter, don't pop the clutch, whatever you do. It's okay, yeah. not, okay. Hunter's getting grief from Gary now because he stopped at this red light. No, he when stopped it, at the yellow light. Right, when it was yellow. <laughs> <laughs> and he could have easily made it. Easily. I would have gone. I would have just gone have. through it, yeah. And I'm an old man. Okay, fine. God. I think next time we need a faster driver, Gary. Maybe you you want to... You want to audition? Faster, faster when it's necessary. Yeah, faster when it's necessary. I'm sorry, I think my nose is itching a little bit. Yeah. The guy wants to do 90 miles an hour on the dirt road, but then he stops for a green light. Shut up, no! And it was yellow. This really is a train chase. And luckily the train we're chasing doesn't really go that fast, but we still have a lot of road to cover where a lot of places the tracks kind of Take a shortcut. Now let's to, hope we don't see him go across the, this bridge right now. Oh, is this the rail bridge right yeah, now? Uh -huh. Yeah. We won't. I don't think we will. I think we're far enough ahead of it. But mm. so yeah. Yeah, we're ahead. we're 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 good. We're doing okay. I think but though. We got right? traffic to navigate. Yes, we do. The road he goes. Got his hazards on. Okay. Yeah. Why? Trucks tend to go real slow on this stretch slow. too. Yeah, but. Yeah. So the chase is still on yet again. <laughs> Welcome to Lime Spur. All right. Yeah, we used to shoot up on that hill there. There's what our next shot looks like.
Gary? Hunter was pretty stressed out there, wasn't he? He was really stressed out. I thought he was going to have a convulsion. I thought he was going to have a little conniption there. Yeah. Well, he may when he gets back. Let's see how loud he is. We can tell by, on the DB meter uh, <laughs> how stressed he is. You need to have one of those noise, limit, noise limiting or uh, get automatic gain control. Absolutely. Hello. So, did you get your shot? Yes. Were you chasing a train? I was, I was full sprint over there, man. I, I was I was running pretty fast over there. I almost, you, you almost didn't make it. I almost fell and ate it on that rock over there. You also almost got run over a couple times, huh? Well, she yielded for me, and then the other guy came up from behind. You know, that woman was being nice, and the other guy decided to be all rude. Not my problem. You know, people just need to be a bit nicer to other people. Maybe the world will be a better place. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to find some trestle, right? So we've turned about 18 times now. Uh, no, we didn't. In Sonora. Uh. <laughs> and now Gary's telling me it's hardly even a trestle. Yeah. And so these guys keep talking about, oh, we have to get the trestle. We have to get the trestle. It's a trestle shot. Trestle, trestle, trestle. And now Gary's setting me up for failure. What are you doing there, Hunter? <laughs> no, what are you looking at your phone? What's uh, on the phone? Uh, well, I'm 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 looking for our next shot. Um, at Sullivan Creek Trestle. Did you tell him how to get there, Gary? I told him once, but he didn't think it was right. So what happened? I don't know. Did we get lost? We're not lost. We're definitely in space, but I don't know if we're lost. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're lost right now. You can tell because he's looking at his phone. He's looking at a map. And you'll see a light come on in his eyes when he finds it. The thing is, you know, the trestle is on the railroad tracks, or the railroad tracks are on the trestle. If we follow the railroad tracks, we should be able to find the trestle. No, you don't say. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it usually works, I think. Yeah. Problem is, the road doesn't follow the railroad tracks. Okay, yeah. well, it appears to me yeah. that uh, we um, are lost. No, we're not lost. We, we just we know where we are right now. Yeah, we know where we are right now. Yeah, we're lost. No, we're not lost. We just can't find what we're looking for. It's lost. It's lost. <laughs> you guys. You were right the first time, huh? Right turn onto Mono Way. Right off of turn the freeway? Mono Way. Or off of the highway? Off the highway. No wonder we can't it's find it. It's up by it. the Taco Bell, not by the McDonald's. There's a Taco Bell? Yes, there's a Taco Bell. Hey, there's Bell. a Taco Bell. That sounds good to me. I could get a refill on my ice bucket. Jason trains! Oh, Gary, Gary's gonna calm Hunter yeah. down with a little song. It's working. Well, we're almost at Sullivan Creek, so. Alright, you ready? John, there you go. This is the trestle we were looking Yeah, big, isn't it? It's better than I'm than you what you made it sound like it was gonna be. That's a cool trestle. Turn right onto Mono Way off of Highway 108. That is the that is the lesson for today. If it's any consolation though, the shot of the train going that way where it was headed just now is not that good. So I think the oh, no. shot of it coming back is no, going to no, be no, much no. better. From the, other, from the other oh, side of the trestle. The other side? There's a road that crosses oh. just on the other side of the trestle and you shoot from the other side of the tracks. Now they tell me. Mm -hmm. Now I'm really sorry and sad that we missed that shot. Yeah, it's a really good shot. In fact, it's better than the one coming this way. Oh, now we're, you're making me look. Shoot. Gary's trying to make me feel better about it now. Because, <laughs> because the sun's on the wrong side when it's coming back.
in case it wasn't clear by the events leading up till now, what's happened is the train has run all the way to Sonora where it switches out a lumber mill, basically. And so they took the empties up and what you just saw is the loaded cars coming back down the hill. So everything from here out, we're halfway done basically, so everything from here out is gonna be Downhill. Them, yeah, it's gonna be them returning the the loaded cars back to Oakdale where we started. Yep. What you doing there? Uh chasing trains. This is our next shot. Look, we got more tripods and we got people. That's a, that's a line from the original first ever chasing trains. It was just a yellow truck. That was not the train. <laughs> I got all excited. The train that we're following is doing some switching here and then they're gonna take off back down the line. Oh boy, I need to stretch. Oh. Hey Hunter. Yeah. What? I think you got a problem. And this time I'm serious. This time we got it on video. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I have what a did, problem. What did you think it was, Hunter? Well, no, last time we were parked over here, <laughs> he, 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 he came over here and he's like, Oh no, Hunter, you got a flat tire. I'm just like, what, really? And he's like, no. And I, I just about lost my you-know-what. Yeah, but you really believe? Seems like they're doing a lot of switching out here, huh? Yeah. Um, so for one load. <laughs> yeah, for one load. And then they have they left with what six loads out of Fassler. Five. Five. And then and then they had uh, they have this work train here with a Jeep Nine that they're hooked up to, and and we're looking, really hoping that the Jeep is going to come they, out with it, right? It's looking like they might take the whole thing out. Yeah, we'll see. So. Well. We sure hope so. Yeah, we hope so. This is only the kind of action you can find on chasing trains.
So just what we thought was going to happen, in fact happened. The train that we were following picked up the other Jeep that was waiting there or working there this morning. And now they're all hooked up. Pretty cool. Oh, this is, this is so awesome, man. You know, nothing beats the sound of an unturbocharged 567 prime mover working all out, making a lot of smoke. It, it, sweet, especially when it's an XSP engine too. You sound like a foamer. I'm a little bit of one, I have to admit. Just, just, just a little. Are you a foamer too? No. What Absolutely are you? Absolutely not. What are you, a guy? I'm just one of those people who He's just to go along with the crowd. He's uh, just, we, are, we are going to look at washing machines, right? Yeah, yeah we're going to go join the washing machines. We're going to join the washing machine collectors club. Hunter Lose's favorite railroads in order. Yeah. Top five. Yeah. Southern Pacific. Yeah. The Sierra Railroad. Yeah. The Sacramento Northern. Yeah. The Western Pacific. Yeah. And the Pacific Electric. What else? Um, also, the Santa Fe, as long as it's only really the valley division between uh, Bakersfield and Oakland, that's where I have most of my interest in the Santa Fe. Um, yeah, what else? Really like the VNT too. Yeah, what um, else? Chicago North Shore and Milwaukee's nice. Chicago Roar and Elgin, they're pretty cool. Um, Pensy, like the Pensy N and W, have respect for N and W too. That's about it. You're ruining my audio. So what happened here? What are they doing? Well, they're setting out the work train consist that they picked up at Chinese here at Warnerville. Um, they dropped the four ballast hoppers that were on the train, but they kept the Jeep 9. Yeah, it looks like conductor's walking back on to the uh, lead unit now. Cool. chasing trains did you guys have fun today so far yeah it's been fun it's been a good chase so far uh, am i seeing him down there 
No. No. What am I seeing? It's kind of yellow. It's cool that the concept has changed so much today. That so. is unusual, isn't it? Yeah. You sure that's so. not him? I, I don't see anything that resembles No, we're here about talking about the sound. I'm talking about the train. That's a sign. Oh, that, that a sign? There's yeah. a sign down there for 15 miles an hour, turn left. No, 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 not the yellow sign over here. Down at the end of the tracks. That's the train coming. He <laughs> <laughs> says, just, ju just to the left. <laughs> oh, just fucked up. Jeez, yeah. <laughs> I think everyone's a little bit messed up right now, okay? You're a little fried, Gary. It sure, it sure looks like it's getting bigger. What are you looking at? Whatever that orange thing is down there. Why would the train be orange suddenly? You think they went to a paint shop? No, no, it's yellow, but, but as the sun goes lower, the yellow turns more orange, you know? It doesn't turn that orange. That's orange like your shirt. That's a sea container, Gary. Oh, is it? Yes. Oh. See that, Gary? That's that's what a train looks like. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't really look like that orange thing, does it? No. Uh huh. I'll tell you what guys i'm sunburned i'm tired <laughs> i'm fried man <laughs> yeah that makes i think all three of us yeah uh-huh you pretty fried gary pretty much yeah well luckily this is is this supposed to be the last shot this is the or? last shot okay so we'll do a shot here and then we'll do a little wrap up to chase the train yeah Tired? I feel tired. Let's see if these guys look tired. Very tired. Do you look tired though? I should. What do you think, Hunter? Was it a successful train chase? As successful as it could have been, yes, I think so. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I think we got all, all the shots that we thought we wanted, right? About, about all of them, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fair, so, pretty close, yeah. I'd say that it was a successful train train chase, and I'm gonna raise my drink to the successful train chase. All right. We'll see you on the next Chasing Trains. <laughs>